Hello, my Scorpio. So this is going to be your general reading for April 1st through the 15th, okay? Uh, so as I shuffled, you guys, I kept having visions of um, some of my Scorpios. It's like you're chasing stars, okay? So this could mean that some of you are actually in the acting field this month. Um, you're entering the role of an actor. You are trying to uh, merge into the world of acting. Um, you are trying to pursue something on a grand scale is what I'm seeing and hearing. Um, I see that you guys are, um, because I saw this vision of chasing stars, I feel that you guys are chasing after something very, very uh emotionally fulfilling for you the beginning of the month and I feel that things are going to slowly come into fruition and you guys are going to start seeing signs synchronicities that are going to align you with what it is that you really want now make sure you're not missing an opportunity by focusing your energy in the wrong direction okay some of you um, because of this vision of, of chasing stars, uh, perhaps some of you are feeling as if you're chasing a dream that you can't ever reach. However, Spirit is asking you to really take a deep, deep, deep look into your psyche at the beginning of the month because you are manifesting by the second. Whatever you're thinking, you are now putting out in the universe and you're getting. So if you feel that you are not worthy of abundance, you're going to feel like you're living in spiritual poverty. So make sure that you're checking your mind the beginning of the month. And I also feel that you guys are definitely chasing after something um, really big and life-changing. So congratulations because I do see it working in your favor. Um, I also see that you guys want, um, that you guys are searching, you're in search for healing. You guys are looking to heal. You're, you guys are looking to heal your past. You're looking to heal um, your present. And I see a lot of you being aware of what it is that you bring to the table. Some of my Scorpios, you're healers out there. And you're now transitioning into... Um, you're now transitioning into a healing position. And so you're aligning yourself with the cosmos is what I'm seeing and hearing, okay? So the beginning of the month is the Ten of Swords. This is a very painful card, okay? Um, this is a, a mixture of things, betrayal, family issues, friends, you know, your own disappointments, your own achievements that haven't pulled through the positive card. Um, the positive aspect of this card, you guys, is that it's about transformation. No matter what you have reached a full cycle. So although this has been a very painful experience, you guys are now shifting into something new, the beginning of the month. So I do see you taking on the wisdom that you've learned from the situation and you're moving on to something else as painful as this is learn from this is your your chance to learn from the past and where you could have um, maybe done things differently because I do see that the universe is going to test you with the same cycle so you might want to readjust what it is that um, in the past you felt that you could have done better but overall this is about accepting what has happened releasing yourself from all the pain everything you've experienced and transforming yourself like a true phoenix okay so energy is working against you this month is um, I'm sorry working in your favor page of swords in reverse and the fool how beautiful is that endings new beginnings huh I like that so uh, yeah again you guys are going to be dealing with some harsh communication um, the beginning of the month, okay? Uh, I do see people spying on your uh, your social media or your Facebook, you know, whatever, anything internet-wise. I see people, um, I see people, there's a possibility of jealousy here. There's a possibility of an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, who's delivering some harsh messages. Um, there is a possible interaction with this person that isn't going to be pleasant at the beginning of the month and, and you know, you're going to have to kind of flow through it, but as an opportunity, you're going to get to start fresh. So whatever, whatever shade that they're throwing, whatever negativity that they're throwing, they're not going to be successful because the beginning of the month, you are starting fresh. You are leaving this person behind. You're like, bye. Okay. Cause this is how it came out. See that they're trying to throw shade. 
They're coming for you, Scorpio. And you're like, I ain't got time for that. And you're moving on, right? You're, you're looking this way. You have no interest in looking back. You also, if you look at the fool, right? You have this little pouch right here. You've moved on. You're going somewhere else. You have no time. You, you have no time for pettiness. Okay, Scorpio? So energy is against you. Justice and the Eight of Swords. Very, um, this is definitely something that you guys should pay attention. Now, legal matters. Scorpio, if you have pending legal matters, pending paperwork, legal duties, court dates, you need to make sure that you go to that. Make sure that you are, you know, um, completely doing your part when it comes to the justice system. Make sure that you are being fair at the beginning of the month. Make sure you're not getting yourself into any trouble. Um, and also, I also see this card as saying that there's something that's going to come into balance. Something is coming or needs to come into balance, okay, as a challenge. You need to regain your sense of fairness. You need to regain your sense of honesty. Or maybe someone is doing this to you. Maybe they need to, um, there's a lack of fairness and they need to come forth and be honest with you. But you have to make sure that you're being honest with yourself and others because I see this as um, a card that is saying this is very karmic so you want to make sure that whatever you're putting out in the universe you know is something positive because it's going to come back to you with the eight of swords I'm a little worried because this could be someone you know in your life but this could also be you Scorpio are you working are you reacting from a lower vibrational place from feeling unworthy or feeling that you have to excessively prove yourself and your power do you feel that you are not seeing your worth and in turn you're reacting a certain way so just explore those feelings and if it's not you then maybe someone around you is challenging you and someone around you is acting you know it is maybe they're they're bringing um Maybe they're not bringing the fairness that you need in your life right now. And maybe they're acting from a lower vibrational place and they're jealous of you. There's just some issues of self-esteem and, and being fair, okay, to other people. So maybe this is someone um, that you're dealing with. Maybe they're really insecure and maybe they're jealous of your success. And there's just a karmic imbalance here, okay? So, um... At the bottom of the deck, you guys, for spiritual guidance, this is the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So you guys want to make sure that you're you're taking on enough that you can enough, you know, as far as projects and stuff that you can complete. Don't take off on more than you can chew. This is about setting up your priorities. I know that you guys want to do it all right now. And I see that you guys are really shining. I see you guys doing your thing. However, I, I do see the need to have to really figure out what's important right now and what's not. Because taking on more than you can handle, you're going to drop the ball. So be aware of that, okay? Thank you, Scorpio.